morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of my combo fans out there. It's me, your captain speaking. And if you give me just one moment, I'm going to make sure that you and everybody else that you cares about knows that this stream is happening right now. So keep your arms, legs, and other appendages inside the vehicle, and we are heading out to stormy waters. I'll be right back. Summon you. Hey everybody, welcome back to our Thursday night stream, the time where you and I get to hang out together and watch me hey play welcome magic well or not Thursday well. We'll figure out that together, won't we? So today I'm going to be playing the Epic Storm, something that I know and love and something that I know that you know and love. So we're going to be, man, we're just going to be putting Tendrils of Agony on the stack and it's going to be great. We are, I mean, don't mess with a good thing, right? We have version 15.6, which is the version that Bryant and I and several other people took to Eternal Weekend, and it is, it is still the best thing that we can offer to the format right now. And we've got Song of Creation, we've got Gaia's Will, Beseech the Mirror, Veil of Summer, Cabal Ritual, and Ponder. These are, these are interesting additions to the Epic Storm that we haven't seen in a little while. And um, I'm, I'm really liking it. Sideboard, our removal of choice are a pair of, two pair, Echoing Truth and Beseju who endures, along with a sideboard, Burning Wishable consigned to Oblivion. We can Burning Wish for Oblivion, and then suddenly, like magic, consign an instant speed bounce spell is in our hand so i'm looking forward to it faith and fellowship tes wins absolutely everybody voted on the poll that came up 12 hours ago on our youtube community page and the epic storm absolutely came out which is awesome dark blast hey how's it going it's good to see you in chat again and Jason, you're going to be lurking, uh, working on Islanders game. Okay, sounds fun. O'Doyle, let's do it. Uh, the no bobbles thing is something that we can talk about for sure. Uh, and Alan, it's Stormin' Time and Normal the Band. Uh, thank you very much. That's really very sweet of you. I uh, hope to live up to expectations. So, yes, we're going to talk about bobble. Let me get queued up. 
I did a, a dumb thing and I forgot to actually queue into a league, which I usually have ready to go, but unfortunately I didn't get there in time. So here we go. And now we can view the deck and we can talk about the baubles. So with these, with this deck, we are, we're not playing Urza's or Mishra's bobble. Um, hey, Michael, how's it going? I uh, didn't get to see you on Tuesday. Uh, I don't know if you were out and about, but I didn't want to chance the weather. So Mishra's bobble, we actually decided to not play that and we brought Ponder back. And this is because of a multitude of things, but one of the things that we wanted to do is have permanents that are bargainable, but also do things. And that's going to be Chrome Mox, essentially, is the answer to that question. Um, and here we are against Mr. Sporks in round number one, Black Lotus uh, Icon or Avatar. That obviously means combo, right? Also, uh, hey, Spicy MTG, how's it going? I, uh, I miss you all in Oklahoma as well. I will be back at some point soon, and I'll be able to play some Legacy with you. You know, this is a pretty good hand. Island Ponder Keep, right? I'm going to keep it. It's a little, a little clunky, right? The three large spells in our hand could be... You know, I could take one of these and swap it around and I'd be happy, but we're going to keep it and we're going to ponder off of an underground sea on turn one. Yeah, Travis, uh, you know, there's a time and a place for the baubles. Right now is just not it. Um, and man, I do like these cards in my hand, but I, I'm not going to... Mm. Man, okay, so actually, you know what? I think I might actually keep these. This is gonna be a reasonable Galvanic Relay on turn two. And I understand that we're getting rid of the Dark Ritual to cast Galvanic Relay with a Beseech the Mirror in my hand. Um, but I think that with this Ponder, instead of shuffling to find a random card, I'm going to take what's given to us, which is Veil of Summer, which is fantastic. Um, and then a really nice Galvanic Relay for five, four or five, depending on if we want to burn the other uh, Lotus Petal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. I'm going to uh, hide the Veil of Summer and see what happens. So We, we did take a concession, not finding land two. I think that that's just gonna be reasonable, but if we get, I don't know, Trinisphered or Wastelanded, then it is something that I'm going to have to live with. I'm prepared to meet my god, are you? I don't know. Hickory Wood Light. Okay, so we have a little bit of time, but not too much. This is Mississippi River. Uh, combo deck for sure. And because of that, I think that I'm going to burn the uh, the Veil of Summer and just kind of maximize the uh, the Galvanic Relay that I have here. Oh, was that lethal? Did I just miss lethal? Uh, no, I didn't have a bargainable permanent on the back end. Okay, never mind. Uh, I was just about to lose my mind if I missed relay, but I did not, I would not have had a bargainable permanent um, on the back end of all of that. So, we're good. Uh, bobbles are better in an ad nauseum build, CMC lower. Yeah, I mean, the, the bobbles are good with the galvanic relay build as well, just like a little bit of hit or miss, right? So, I think we're gonna be fine. Oh, what is this? Oh, not what I thought it was. What are we, okay. Uh, uh, what pile of cards is this? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the auto yields, I guess. Um, 
I have no idea what's happening right now. Uh, Tybalt's trickery and um, okay, there's creative technique. So this is a creative technique deck. This is not like any creative technique deck I've ever heard or seen before. I will cast a Lion's Eye Diamond, though. They did demonstrate their creative technique. Uh, this is insanity. Okay, another Tybalt's Trickery. They get something. I don't know. I asked for the list, uh, cause yeah, celery guy, I am right there with you. This is what I want to play next week. Uh, throws of chaos. Oh my gosh. Okay. Call forth the tempest cascade cascade. It's on goldfish now. Oh, okay. That's fun. Okay. Uh, it's on goldfish. Um, check out Mr. Sporks on MTG goldfish and see what we can do. This is incredible. <laughs> I, uh, I think that this is much, this is pro like with the Tybalt's trickery, you're obviously allowed to hit a Tybalt's trickery, which kind of stops the, the game. But this is a turn two combo, whereas the earliest that Mississippi River can win is turn three. And I was banking on that based on the fact that I was able to, oh, well, okay, there we go. Um, they take another turn and there's an Apex Devastator. Wow. Um, we are deceased, but I really want my opponent to just go for it. Oh, we're deceased right now. Oh my God. This is, okay, I'm gonna concede Am I gonna concede? This is so cool. Um, yes, Sebas, um, I don't know why the thumbnail is re in Reanimator. I saw that when I made the link and I checked the file and the file is like the updated, the Epic Storm video thumbnail. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I can check that after I sideboard. Uh, thought seizes and besages instead of these Veil of Summers that do literally nothing. Um, we are not going to be playing Echoing Truth. I feel like that's not the game here. Um, and while I, I could hit submit, but I'm going to give it a second because I need to check and see the thumbnail is working. Um, yeah, the thumbnail is updated, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but maybe I'll I'll check it in post again. But okay, we have sideboarded appropriately against our opponent who's doing some wild, wild things, and we're on the play again. Uh, doesn't matter how many thought seizes, I don't think I can keep that hand. Uh, I can keep this hand and I'm going to, I'm going to have to put back a Mox Opal and, um, let's just play a Misty Rainforest and pass. I don't want to get got by a Beseju or something like that. I don't think that I, you know, I didn't actually look at their Cascades. I totally could have figured out their list, but um, I'm not going to worry about that. Now, I don't want another land. Um, and I'm planning on just echoing uh, Echo of Eons here. So, oh, that was good. That was a very good draw. So let's just cast all of our zeros. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is just a peer into the abyss. Okay, so 
that was a very good draw. We can peer instead. So let's just check this again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is peer into the abyss. So they comboed on turn two. I get to combo on turn two. Um, we love resolving peer into the abyss, which is even better in paper. There was some discourse in Discord about um, how best to resolve a peer in paper. And everybody does it a little bit differently. I enjoy the way that I do it. Um, I think that it makes the most sense to me. However, you know, other people um, might have different ways of, of thinking about it in their head. So I am going to thought seize them just in case. Okay. So they, they use Violent Outburst to get uh, um, what's the word? Tybalt's Trickery. Okay, so turn two, got it in the books. That was fun. Um, and Travis, yeah, absolutely better in paper for sure. Um, Okay, now we have to do this on the draw, and they can win as early as turn two. We saw that. Mm, I think I might have to keep this. Thoughtseize is a great disruptor. Um, so, they have... Throws of Chaos, Creative Technique, and Violent Outburst as their ways to combo. Um, I don't know if ripping one out is going to be as impactful as I hope it would be. But, I mean, Thoughtseize, we're going to do our best. Yes, I would agree that that is going to be a very good Thoughtseize. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> um, oh, uh, Sebas, I'll, I'll look at that in just a second. Um, because, yeah, I would love to talk about how the uh, Peer into the Abyss resolution works best. I have thoughts. Um, okay, I like this. I like the Dark Ritual and the Brainstorm. And I want the Dark Ritual, but I will, um, no, no, no. I'll just, I'll just play out the Volcanic Island. That's fine. I want the, I want the Brainstorm. Um, because I want to get rid of, like, Burning Wish number two and land number four is kind of where I'm thinking right now. Oh. Okay. Well, they just decided to do exactly what they want anyway. So Tybalt's Trickery counters the Violent Outburst, and then Tybalt's Trickery gets Apex Devastator. <laughs> okay. Um, while my opponent is doing this, I'll talk to you, Sebas. Uh, about, you count all the cards in hand in Battlefield and Graveyard, subtract that from 60, divide by 2, rounding up, and then just count it out. Yes, that is exactly how I do it. That is amazing. Thank you. So that is the easiest way to do it. And you just have to say, assume my deck is 60 to do all of the math. And then once you have separated out that pile, count the other half and confirm. That is the easiest way to just check. And therefore, you know that you didn't make a mistake in terms of your math, which is possible. And you're doing it in your head on the fly, which, I mean, should be easy enough. It's just a division by two and some basic subtraction. But, you know. Um, and then, yeah, Noah Sylvander, Mississippi Queen. Is this is this what we're ta calling this? I have no idea what this deck is. Uh, Tibble's Trickery... I mean, like, the Mind's Desire for 16 is just disgusting. Um, that's that's a really hot piece of tech right there. 
Uh, Travis, you're just glad to have a format deck. You can pass Casperian again. Uh, deflecting SWAT, yeah. Deflecting SWAT and CDH. I have uh, been on both sides of that for as little as I've played CEDH, and it's a really high high on one end and a really, really low low on the other end. So, yeah. Um, we are, I'm drinking uh, bourbon. It is bourbon. Um, it's uh, not, I mean, it's, it's like a snifter. Oh, Doyle, Storm is a little bit more than 10. Um, okay. Um, yeah, this is um, Basil Hayden's. It's nice, easy drinking, kind of sipping. Um, count the half you're not drawing. Forgot about that part. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think that that's all. Um, Okay, uh, my opponent and I have been messaging back and forth. They're they're just they're just really nice. Oh no, it's like really blurry. Sorry about that. Um, and I have to move this back exactly. Okay, that's good enough. Um, okay, and they're I'm dead. I, they have hasty Emrakul, Apex Devastator, and Maelstrom Wanderer. Double Apex Devastator. That's disgusting. Uh, yeah, they've cleared the stack and it's all good. Um, I will sacrifice two permanents. And I, negative 26, yeah. <clears throat> okay, fun, fun, fun. That, I mean, if it was a loss, then it was at least a fun one, right? So, uh, Travis, it's actually the toasted one. I, I was trying the toasted one out today, which is kind of fun. Um. No, uh, um, that's what you'll call it when you have it in a couple of weeks. I ordered all the expensive cards. Nice. All right. I might try this out. It's going to be on the docket for next week, I think. It's going to be on the poll because that was really cool. Uh, they, yeah, they did the Cascade. They, they, they did top deck the Cascader. Um, I had maybe, like, maybe the Brainstorm was going to be amazing and found me the win, but I was going to pass the turn at least once, probably. Um, again, so, you know, they had some draws and they just happened to get it. We did talk about how they had 12 of them, 11 of them at the point one when I discarded one of them. So, you know, um, so yeah, Celery, we did get a link and I will, um, you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it in the video description afterwards, um, with the timestamp. And I will post the MTGDO uh, like results link. It's probably a 5.0 or something like that. Um, so, uh, Joe, uh, the hero graphic is still Tony's goofy reanimator list. Yeah, unfortunately, I still don't. I still don't know. Okay, uh, Joe, that is a known problem, and I I don't know what it is because the the thumbnail that I have loaded up is um, the correct one. So I'm not sure why YouTube decided to load the previous live uh, thumbnail, but that's that's where we are right now. Um, ooh, Faith and Fellowship and MTG. That is a great idea. That might get expensive quick because then I would have to have several options available. Um, so, Goffman, the first match, I'm not going to spoil it. You should watch um, You should watch the replay, Goffman. It was incredible. We lost handily, and I don't want to spoil anything else. Just, like, after this, go watch the, the live. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Speaking of bourbon, our opponent is named Lord Bourbon. I, I yield. I yield to the Lord of Bourbon. 
Uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't do anything about that. That's, that's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> all right. I am going to keep this hand though. Uh, we're going to try our best. Uh, summon on. Yeah. Long time. No see. Uh, I'm glad that your weekend is starting. That's fantastic. A three day weekend, four day weekend. What's going on? Um, I'm glad that this is the way that you are choosing to start your weekend off. We're starting strong. So grab a nice warm beverage or a nice cool beverage, depending and, uh, curl up and just kind of get cozy for a couple of, a couple of, uh, matches here. Ooh. Okay. We are playing cloud post and pithing needle, pithing needle on wasteland, or do they know me and name wishclaw talisman? I don't know. Wasteland. Okay. I can deal with that. Um, it is a sign. It is a sign for sure. Oh, well, that's a little unfortunate. But, okay. We can make this work. Um, I'm just one artifact away from Metalcraft that will allow me to play the Song of Creation. I don't know if that's something that I want to do. Okay. So now I can Echo of Eons. Um, hmm. So I have seven mana right now. And I think, I think that what we're going to do is just... Uh, Okay, so they're gonna have one, two, three, four mana next turn. That's enough to the to cast the one ring. I am going to echo here. Yeah. Um, not that we don't we lose automatically to the one ring or anything like that. Just um, I don't want to play against it. And I can get a volcanic island because all of my lands are forests anyway. So, see what we can do. Play Echo of Eons and then get a Mox Opal on the stack. And then the Lion's Eye Domen, Diamond. Uh, Travis, SOC, also super satisfying to play. Yeah, it, it is. Song of Creation is incredible. I don't know if it's better or or not than Peer into the Abyss, but like they're very close. Uh, Peer into the Abyss, you get all of your enjoyment right up front, whereas with um, Song of Creation, you get that prolonged burn, which is really nice. Oh, did we just win? We did. Natural Tendrils of Agony in the hand. I'll take it. Okie dokie. Natural tendrils? Or, well, it was an echo of eons. It's not natural tendrils. It's just the main deck tendrils of, e of agony. So that was pretty fun. Neat. Uh, echo of eons. That was pretty good. Um, no, Spicy, I am not coming to Sooner Sorcerer. I am actually, next week, I'm out... Uh, out of state for a sales conference. We're going to Orlando, which is kind of fun. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to that. But because of that, I couldn't actually do that and sooner. That's like a little bit more um, travel than I could allow. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna make it to the SSSC. Um, what do I think about the list of sets for the year? Uh, Noah, you're gonna have to actually remind me because I don't know what they are. I have not been keeping track. I've been, honestly, I've been drafting the Vintage Cube a lot and I haven't been paying attention to any other magic otherwise. So that's actually not true. I had a really nice 5-0 recently with um, an unmentionable deck, so I won't talk about it, but it's, not something that we talk about on the Storm Discord. 
but yeah. Uh, CJGJ, fun name to say. Uh, you saw the reanimator thumbnail. Um, unfortunate, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to get that fixed. It might have just been the initial link. Um, let me actually take a look at that right now. Um, YouTube and it is the reanimator thumbnail. Oh my gosh, why is that coming up like that? Um, I don't know why that is. I I'm not gonna show you proof that the thumbnail is correct, but it is. Um, I'm not. Y'all don't get to see that. I'm sorry. Um, it seems like everything was above board on my end, so I'll have to figure what that what is going on with that uh, thumbnail problem. But I don't know. Goffman, who needs ten mana Eldrazi when you can have ten, twelve drills of agony? Absolutely, honestly, uh, you don't need anything else. This is probably not going to do it. I'm going to mulligan this one. Oof. Yikes. Okay. Do it again. Um, Black Lotus over release schedule. Absolutely, Travis. Um, I have actually uh, drafted more Soul Rings than Black Lotuses and more of those than any Moxin at all. Um, I have only been given like a mox pearl and a mox emerald once or something like that it's been interesting um wait a second if i get rid of land land then i can lotus petal ritual cabal ritual eh, i should probably Hmm. I'm actually going to get rid of both lands uh, because my goal here is to Song of Creation and if I get an, a land or an imprintable black card, then I can Beseech the Mirror and use Lotus Petal as a spell. Is that more reasonable or is it more reasonable to draw a zero? It's more reasonable to draw a zero, so I should probably keep the land. Okay, never mind. I talked myself out of it. Um, no, no Thalia or Karn. It's actually just bean control. It's just like five color beans. Um, it's, it's not that big of a deal, but uh, fun to think that it was. Uh, stop by Cool Stuff Inc. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'll be at the land run. Uh, yeah, I need to block out my schedule for that. Or since I am a regional uh, specialist, then what I can do is instead of blocking out my schedule for time off, what I can do is just plan my visit to Oklahoma City for like the sales reps that are in my region um, and talk to them afterwards. Okay, so this is awesome. However, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then, yeah, I won't have the ability to actually cast another spell. So I'm going to have to wait one turn. Um, oh, wait, is this a graveyard win? Oh my gosh, rude. Um, that might be the case. Uh, however, that does not win... Uh, against um, ooh okay actually what I'm gonna do so I'm playing around mind break trap not necessarily graveyard hate uh, so I'm gonna play around mind break trap by imprinting this now and what I can do is uh, get to a point where I can just like beseech into a song and that's gonna be how I um how I win, hopefully. We're gonna, it's gonna be iffy. We're gonna see how it goes. Um, they mulliganed moderately, so I think that a mind break trap is a fairly reasonable guess. 
Well, that's kind of awkward. Um, okay. Hi, Gavin, by the way. Hello. Um, no, I, so you could probably argue that it's worth the risk. Uh, Rude, I don't think so. Their clock is not going to be particularly fast. I think that we're going to have the option, like they're going to get, they might get rid of the forest here and get, uh, oh, they're getting rid of the glimmer post and getting a cloud post here. Um, that's fine. I think that, I think that they're going to be a little slow out the gate, hopefully. So that's my thinking anyway. We'll, we're going to have to find out if that's true or not. Um, Pedal a uh, turn one Gaia's will into exact storm tel 10 uh, Stukin. Um, if it was a turn one win, then I might have missed the mark. I would have gone for a turn one. Um, hmm. I mean, I might have, I might have screwed that one up. Hmm. And now I'm just like sitting here and wondering if I might have just screwed that one up. They do have bog. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so it's not something that I'm going to go for right now. Unless for some reason they activate their Elvish Reclaimer. But now they have six mana. No, nine mana. Uh, oh, no, they don't. They have a Yavimaya. An interesting pick. Um, that might have been... Oh, okay. Now they've got a lot of mana. Cloud Post for days. Hmm. I don't know. It might have been greedy for me to wait. I, I could be convinced. I am convincing myself that uh, one missing the turn one, which, man, I'm, I'm still getting used to the fact that Beseech the Mirror kills from so few resources, um, which is just wild. Uh, and then, yes, Rude, that is for sure a possibility. I want to avoid Mind Break Trap. That's what I'm really waiting. Like, I want to Dark Ritual into a Thoughtseize or just, you know, Thoughtseize straight up. Um, that's my goal here, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get to that. So they have seven mana. Um, yeah, they probably have... I mean, they have some kind of interaction, right? Um and they might have endurance they might have mind break trap or besaju is another one that they might have something of force of vigor although i would have expected force of vigor to be used by now um so i'm not sure Um, I mean, I have four thought seizes in the deck, so like, yeah, I'm not gonna go out to mind break at first. Uh, like if I resolve a song of creation, then I am probably not going to lose to mind break because I can present win after win. Uh, that's usually pretty okay. Yeah, they're not putting, I mean, pressure in the form of they've got, uh, 12 mana next turn. I think that's a lot of pressure. Okay. So this is going to get their um, Eldrazi tutor, I think. Um, yeah, Travis, Mind Break Trap kind of went up a little bit. It's kind of, kind of a lot. Um, possibly green sun zenith for collector oof i hadn't thought about that um they might be playing green sun zenith that's for sure and if they're playing green sun zenith i mean they green sun zenith seems kind of a gimme a gimme speaking of green sun zenith this looks like a green sun zenith for prime time okay not a collector oof okay um i think that 
O'Doyle, you are correct. However, they are choosing to not get the collector oof, which is reasonable because like the cards that we have, gaming time, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I, I don't know what's wrong with the thumbnail. It's correct on the back end where the, the video upload on YouTube, the live stream shows that the thumbnail is uploaded correctly. I don't know why YouTube is pulling a different thumbnail. Um, yes, back-to-back -back Emrakuls would be a little bit issue uh, of a problem. Um, but there's the tutor and we're all good to go. They didn't do anything with the reclaimer on their end step, did they? Um, well, we can win through an oof. Oof is not the end of the world. Okay, how about red source? I've got Yavamaya, so it might as well be the volcanic island. And ponder, I want a Thoughtseize. That's all I really want here. Um, no Thoughtseize, so I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, I think that I'm deceased next turn, so no sense in waiting anymore. Um, this is TES cards on your phone, Mike, but it might not be TES cards in your heart or on the thumbnail, I don't know. So let's bargain this Chrome Mox away, understanding that losing to a Mind Break Trap is just gonna be the way the cookie crumbles. We had two ponders worth uh, of looks and uh, that pause is not the most amazing thing in the world. I don't know, that's... That's pretty okay. I'm okay with that. Um, so now Song of Creation is doing its thing. And we have to get to Storm 13 because they're at 25 from the Glimmer Post uh, activations. So yeah, probably no Mind Break Trap. The, this might be a um, Force of Vigor Although I would have thought that they force a vigored in response to the dark ritual, but I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. They re they okay. So mm, plenty of plenty of storm is the answer here. Yes, more than thirteen. All right, draw two cards. How we doing? There's the thought seizes. All right, I'll imprint this Gaia's Will, not something that I care about anymore. Um, it could be a Veil. I guess we're going to find out if it's a Veil. Mm-hmm, Michael, you're right. They are leaving one green mana open or four surgical extraction on Beseech the Mirror. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. If it was Surgical Extraction and that was their hate piece this whole time, I don't know what's going on. Um, hmm. They also probably should have waited for me to draw Song of Creation, uh, draw from Song of Creation, because if I drew the Beseeches, then they could have stripped them from my hand. As it is, um, I'm drawing two guaranteed cards that are not Beseech the Mirror. So, I don't know. Uh, the celery guy, that is a really nice thing to say. It makes me it makes me think that there's something wrong on YouTube side of things, not my side of things, which uh, maybe is more concerning. I don't know. Uh, we're we're going to have to figure that one out. Crop rotate for some land. Yeah, I, the land is just going to gain him like one, two, three, four, five life. Um, but that's not going to matter. Oh, there's crop rotation right there. Okay, well, I'm not sure. I guess surgical extraction was the only thing that they had going on for them, uh, which, okay, that's fine by me. Let's take this brainstorm. And go... 
And actually what I can do is put back like Burning Wish, Burning Wish, and then Thoughtseize Crack the Lion's Eye Diamond, uh, draw a couple of cards, because I don't necessarily need this Tendrils of Agony. That's eh, probably fine. It's not going to matter. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be fine. So what I can do now is... Um, Echoing Truth, the Elvish Reclaimer, and they've got to do something now. I'm gonna just draw on a couple of lands, it's not a big deal. Uh, and then they can, they have to make a decision now and then I can get uh, whatever I need from it afterwards. Okay, so they're gonna gain some amount of life, should be six, uh, no, five, five. Uh, so they're 28, which is okay. They are already dead because that's 13, 14, 15, so yeah. Why not just end the game right now? Okay. I could have kept going, but I didn't need to. No, no extra necessary. But yeah, we got there indeed. Okay. Um, neat. Seems like a pretty okay matchup. I'm glad that my potential punt didn't end up punishing me. Um... Yeah, song's pretty busto rude. Uh, I don't know if it was, n like, they had the surgical, right? I think that that is the thing that they kept their hand on. Now, we could have a song of creation earlier, but um, I think that we played that just fine. It ended up being the correct things to have resulted in a win, uh, but there might have been more efficient ways to do that, so. Anyway, uh, so we've been chatting for a long time, and I haven't even ran a single ad. Uh, if you want to check out the cards that I'm playing, rent them online, play for yourself, then you should check out Card Hoarder, and I'm going to have Bryant uh, tell you a little bit about Card Hoarder, an awesome sponsor of the channel. I'll be right back. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Alrighty, and it's perfect timing because here is our round three opponent and we won the die roll so uh yeah we got to pay the bills absolutely this hand does not pay the bills this hand pays the bills okay cool uh i will keep this and i will bottom the song of creation and Start off on an island ponder keep, just like the good book says. And joke's on you, I did know that. Yeah, uh, good. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, let's see, did I miss, uh, like there's a lot of chatting, which is awesome, but I, I'm always worried that I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss something, somebody important. I try to, I try to see everybody, but. Um, just make sure that I'm missing, not missing everybody. I care about all y'all. Uh, ooh, I got to mulligan this, or shuffle that, I should say. Travis, can't play MTGO, bank account hates me when you look it up and realize how many leagues you play in each week. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Um, it, you can, you can spend a lot of money on this. Um, but if you do 
relatively well, like the, the play points that you get offset, ugh, rude, um, offsets the price of entry, right? If you go three, two or better, then you get your entry back. If you two, three, then you get half of your entry back, which is like five bucks or the equivalent of five bucks. So it's, it's, you know, it's fine. Um, Jason updates going to the third aisle, all tied with the leaves at three, three. Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, good luck. How much per league? It's like $10. It's a hundred play points or 10 ticks. Uh, and you can buy ticks from the MTGO store for a dollar each. So it's essentially, um, Oh my gosh. Um, it's essentially $10. Okay. Okay. There we go. Hey Grant, how's it going? It is good to see you, uh, in chat and hanging out this evening. I am going to get a volcanic Island here. Um, and ponder. Okay. These are things that I like. The Veil of Summer is not as important, so I will put that in my hand. Okay. Uh, also, they did not have a land drop. You know what? I have just, they missed their land drop. They griefed me and didn't do anything. They're still not doing anything. What is going on? Uh, I, I am, I am taken aback. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, no clue whatsoever. Ugh. Yikes. That's fine. There's nothing going on over here either. Um, okay, so we're gonna Echo of Eons next turn, I guess. Um, that's like the one thing that I can do right now. So yeah, Grant picked up a few more Pete Venter's goblins. Heck yeah. I'm glad, uh, that is, that is something that is tied to me now, I guess that's, that's pretty fun. Um, for all of you that don't know, I collect signed Pete Venter's unhinged goblin tokens, like the ones with the silver border. And I get people um, to sign them after the artist has signed them. So I have one card per person that I uh, want to have signed them. I've got um, most of the Epic Storm writing team, past and present. Um, I have, and then a bunch of like legacy uh, players, some pro tour players, it's kind of fun. Okay, so they have missed land drop after land drop. Uh, because of that, I'm going to get the echo and not do anything with it. Um, because next turn I can echo and uh, use the mana from the Valk in the Underground Sea to actually like win the game. Uh, that's the plan anyway. Scam doing scam things, Travis. Oh, they found their land. Okay, are they gonna grief me? I don't know. Reanimate grief or something like that? Dark ritual. What are we doing here? Dark ritual. It's a lot of mana. What are we doing? Entomb. Okay. Uh, yeah, the old spike the land greedy keep Kaufman for sure. Okay, exhume the grizzle brand, and then they have two. Ma yeah, I mean, they just needed the land, and they could do all of this. So I guess that's fine. Um, brainstorm locked for sure, and they are doing everything that that's in their power to end the game. Lotus petal, okay. Um, a lot of chat, which is awesome. And I am just like having to click through all of this. So I'll get to it in just a second. Um, you have those sweet TES tokens, Jason, or Travis. That's awesome. I, I have those tokens as well. I agree. They are sweet. Um, 
no lander on reanimator is working just fine apparently everything is going according to their plan um but we have echo with the potential of just like winning the game on the spot so they're at five life they're not gonna gain any more life it's very close to just lost to them um yeah, Grant, those are a few ways uh, to get signatures for sure. Uh, or there are, oh, Faith Fellowship MTG. Yeah, so you can meet artists at GPs and um, events. Um, they usually have a booth set up and you can meet them and talk to them face to face. And then for other people, uh, they, you can mail in cards and get them signed, which is also really fun because you can usually just have a lot more cards that way uh get signed and as far as as far as the the goblin tokens i've i've usually gotten a lot of those just signed up front um yeah rude i i feel okay um the only thing that i don't want them to do is cast a dothy void walker which would mean that i have to sacrifice uh the lion's eye diamond to put the echo in my graveyard before that resolves um and i know that i don't have a land on top of my library so um it's not the most amazing if they have a dothy void walker but i didn't want to say that out loud so now that it's said out loud they're obviously going to have it we'll see uh, Joe, you have signed a Gabo. Absolutely. There's a couple of people here. You know, you've signed a Gabo. Uh, I've got Grant to sign a Gabo. Uh, there's a few people that have, which is fun. Um, Reanimator doesn't play niche cards like Iona anymore. Yeah, they're playing good cards. Oh, speaking of good cards, that's fine. I'm drawing seven. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't care. Three drills does the trick from five. Yes, that would be the idea. Um, Shieldred would feel extra bad too. Yeah, that would win them the game, that's for sure. But this actually looks like actual factual reanimator and not uh, like the Rakdos Riscaminator mid-range reanimator hybrid. Um, at least from everything that I'm seeing. Mostly because Grizzlebrand is a card that they're reanimating and not Archon of Cruelty. Uh, I feel like Grizzlebrand is in the actual dedicated reanimator builds as opposed to the scam builds. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Bowmaster isn't common main deck. No, it's not. Um, we'll see what is going to happen. Echo of Eons, here we go. Survey says, uh, win. Yeah, okay, they are deceased. We can just, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, which is the requisite mana to Burning Wish into a Beseech the Mirror, and that's gonna be enough storm to uh, kill them dead. So all of that hard work for nothing didn't matter in the slightest. So all I have to do is hold control and cast the burning wish. I could actually even grape shot. Oh yeah, yeah, grape I, You were rude, you were just thinking the same thing that I was. Uh, I really hope that I don't get got by this somehow. Like if I lose because of this. Um, <laughs> that would be so terrible. Okay, uh, we got it. We're good. Grape shot for the win. Um, we love to see that. I do love my grape shot reanimator wins. Um, nothing to bark. Oh, we didn't need to worry about that. Um, we could just get the sideboard stuff. So that's all good. Um, Fun, fun, fun. Okay, Thoughtseize. Um, I have a sideboard guide. I don't remember what we're doing with Reanimator right now. These days, it's kind of tough to tell. Okay, just Thoughtseizes and Galvanic Relays. Yeah, the Echoing Truth's not as important. That makes sense to me. Um, if it was Chain of Vapor and I had a pair of them, I might bring in one, but 
as it is, uh, I don't think that it's a necessary component to our game plan. Um, this de deck doesn't insta scoop to a turn one grizzle monster. Yeah, absolutely. Um, even if they have a grizzle, an archon, and they're pr like the fact that we can untap and win the game um, is just really nice. They have to pass the turn with a ridiculous board state to present a win and we can just kind of take advantage of that and say nope not today and scoop it up after them um okay o'doyle that was kind of lucky usually when reanimator draws 14 they discard your whole hand but the echo was good there yeah absolutely which is why like i wasn't really upset about passing the turn with the echo in my hand because all they can do is discard it um and I don't care if my echo goes into hand. They discarded my hand, but that was it. Um, I don't think that this is a keep rude um, at all. I, I don't think that that's good. This is much better. Okay, and I will get rid of the ponder here. And they'll likely take like the lion's eye diamond or something like that if they discard me. Uh, yeah, Thoughtseize and Veil, but those are not really good on the draw. Um, oh my gosh, what? Wow. That's shocking. Um, wow, I really can't believe that I wasn't discarded at all. Um, yeah, turn one Thoughtseize is fine, but um, the Veil doesn't really do anything. Um, if I'm on the draw very often. Okay, Bowmaster, who would have thought? And they've got a couple of Dothy Voidwalkers and, uh, okay. So what I think I'm gonna do here, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, what am I gonna do here? I could just get Empty the Warrens, which is kind of wild, and I think might actually end up working here. Um, six, seven, eight, yeah. Let's just do Empty the Warrens. Empty the Warrens against Reanimator is also a little bit crazy. Um, but here we go. Yummy, yummy goblins now i don't have signed goblin tokens or even like the unhinged goblin tokens on mtgo when that happens i will be a very happy camper uh but until that i will have to live with the m15 ones so you know i'll survive it's just i'm not gonna be happy about it okay and here we go attack with everything they fall from 19 to uh, five if they block with everything they do and they take 14 go to five and i think that they're gonna be dead uh okay echo destroys reanimator keep yeah man mana maze is important spicy yeah absolutely gotta gotta plan for that mana maze uh okay Play Children of Corliss. I'm sorry, I'm catching up with uh, chat. Children of Corliss. I think we're going to win this one for what it's worth, by the way. And Tendrils in the main deck of Reanimator. Ooh, we got there. Look at that. Cleaned up Reanimator with Empty the Warrens. Goblin tokens for the win. Um, so, O'Doyle, if they entombed for a uh, an emissary, I would have echoed instead. I would have taken, uh, oh, they didn't have Entomb. They had Reanimate for what it's worth. But if this was Entomb, even then, if they had like an Emissary and I was turned off by the the Goblin route, then I would have just Echoed and it serves as Graveyard Hate and it gives me the opportunity to just win on the spot. So, yeah. Um, Tinfins is the cooler one for sure, Goffman. Um, 
Dragon <laughs> Dragon might be the coolest. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Rude. So there are there are plenty of reanimator lists out there that are competing with the coolest options that you can play. And, you know, discuss amongst yourselves which ones there are the best. There is not a Beseech in the board. Um, Gaia's might have been lethal there, but no Beseech in the board. We want to maximize the Beseeches that we have in the main deck and draw them more often. Um, that's just kind of what we've thought about as far as building the deck. Um, it kind of dilutes everything out when you have one in the board. Plus, our sideboard is just like jam-packed. There is very few slots available to us. Um, <laughs> Joe, you can think of a cooler list? I don't know. I don't know if you, of all people, can think of a cooler reanimator list. Not that you've been or, uh, pioneering it for the past like two plus years. Not, not at all. Ooh, ooh, we're against D Neely. Uh, they're a um, they're a Green Sun Zenith player, aren't they? I think so. I don't know. Uh, this is not a keep ha keepable hand. Uh, the like four payoffs and nothing else. I'm gonna mulligan this one. Um, I will keep this one. Keep this one, bottom the song. And we are off to the races. Savannah, Noble Hierarch. Okay, cool. Um, they turned a new leaf. Yeah, sure. God, Michael, that's terrible. Um, okay, Misty Rainforest. Should I do anything about Collector Oof right now? No, I don't think so. I could get... Uh, kind of in a rut there, but I have an out um, of like, if they collect or oof, then I can burning wish for the grape shot and then play all of my artifacts and then grape shot the collector oof. Um, so I have, I have an out for that. Um, I think it's fine. Uh, Alexander, the thumbnail for this live is off. It is, I know. Um, unfortunately, something went wrong, and I have no idea what. Uh, the thumbnail is correct on my end, and it is correct for some viewers. However, it is not correct for others, and I'm, I really have no idea why. But that's okay. Bug beans the last few times you played them. Okay. Well, this looks like, like Naya Depths, or Maverick, actual Maverick, as opposed to like cradle control. Um, that was a pretty garbage draw, but let's just brainstorm and get the show on the road. I like an echo here, potentially. Um, hmm. Maverick players in 24. Yeah, I mean, do what you love, right? Um, ah. <sighs> Okay, I think that I have to put back the Tendrils and the Beseech the Mirror. And they could... Mm, okay. They could Wasteland me, I fetch, and then I do this whole thing over again, just minus one storm. However, if I draw a land or a mana source at all, then I can Cabal Ritual. Um, I'm trying to think like if I should echo now or next turn. I won't have any mana floating. I'll have no land drop. It's just a raw echo. And I think that, uh, man, I think I need to be a little bit more disciplined here and recognize that one wasteland isn't going to lose me the game here. Um, I think it's fine. Uh, Teague GG, you know what? Didn't think about that until just now. Jared, you called it. You absolutely called it, and I can't do anything about that. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. I... Stopping removal, you think you go for it. Yeah, Michael, that's fair. I, uh, okay. We can wish for Grape Shot, but it's really not gonna do much. 
not with the mom and right there. Um, yeah, I, I think that I got a little greedy there and talking about that with chat should have gone for it regardless of how, uh, let's say risky that echo was. It certainly beat anything else I was doing, um, which was losing on the spot. So yeah, you live and you learn. I, I think that should have been something that I knew inherently off the bat, just like going for it. But I gotta be honest, um, outside of last stream for the holidays, I have not played the Epic Storm at all. Um, like I said, I've just been vintage cubing and it's been a blast, but oof, okay. Uh, the Maverick deck massacred me. Yeah, I wish I had Massacre, that's for sure. Um, just echo into a kill. It's not very complicated. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, not complicated at all. We are the best echo deck in the, well, competitive echo deck in the format. We can probably do something. Um, hmm. This is not a very good hand. I'm close to keeping it because of Thoughtseize, but I'm going to mulligan this one. I think I need to be more disciplined. Uh, shuffling the hand was worth it. Yeah, maybe. Okay, this I will keep. Also, Rude, we're going to go with uh, probably shuffling their hand was a good idea, but like they also could have just drawn the the thing right away. Okay, once upon a time, Thalia... I mean, I'm taking the Thalia, but um, yeah, Once Upon a Time can't get something like a um, Deafening Silence, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty okay with that. Um, okay, there's the Once Upon a Time, and working with perfect information, they have a Collector Oof. Okay, well... I am echoing now, that's for sure. Um, oh, well that was a good draw. It could snag a waste. I think that that was fine if they did. Okay, now this echo feels a lot better because I'm gonna have a blue and a black floating um, at the end of this and a land drop. I think that this is an echo that I feel a lot more confident in than the other one. But uh, Tem Goblin's probably not good with the Fiend Artisan getting a, uh, a, a Plague Engineer. So I didn't, I didn't think that was a good idea. Mm, okay, we're almost there. Got to brainstorm, see what things shake loose, and uh, oof. Um, what can I do here? I can. Hmm. There's something here. I. Um, I mean, I can echo, that's a given. Um, or I can, I'm trying to think if I can like ponder into something and I can't ponder into a beseech the mirror because I won't have an echo or a, a bargainable permanent. I can't do the same thing with song of creation. Uh, burning wish, no. So I just have to echo here. So yeah, we're running back the echo, uh, except, oh wait, no, I don't have, no, I can't run back an echo. So this has to be a galvanic relay. That's unfortunate. Um, okay. So which cards do I want in my library? Song of Creation and Cabal Ritual probably, or Beseech the Mirror? Beseech the Mirror probably better. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, Jared, you got it. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all are chatting about this and I'm trying to figure it out on the fly, um, but we got there eventually. Um, wait, rude, sorry. 
he said something like that. Endurance doesn't stop echo. I just don't have an echo. So I'm just going to get this. Uh, what's floating was a black floating. And we're just going to relay for 10. Unfortunately, I didn't have the ability to get any additional mana there. Um, so we've got 10 cards floating. Like if we had one extra mana um, or a land drop or something like that, then we would have been fine. But uh, no, Jared, actually just like the templating on Burning Wish makes you think that you can get it from exile because it says outside the game, but the exile zone was incorporated into the game as a whole uh, a while ago. So those like uh, wish targets from outside the game don't work unless they're templated like um, Karn the Great Creator that says you can get something from outside the game or exile and that's how it's formatted. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so I've got an echoing truth to deal with this, but wow, that's pretty tough. Um, just 10 cards. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be enough. Can I be honest with you? Okay, so that was good. It was at least a bargainable permanent. Um, and, or not a bargainable permanent, a an imprintable card for my bargainable permanent. There we go. Now the words are making sense. Um, I think we're going to make it. Um... <clears throat> Four, five, uh, Karn the Great piece of trash. Yes, absolutely, Goffman. You know it. Six, uh, seven. These are all great. And now I can just beseech the mirror chain um, to a win. I mean, I could have before, but now I can definitely do it. And there's the tendrils of agony. And survey says we force a game three, hopefully. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Okay, no mind break trap. Okay, cool. We did get there. That was pretty all right. I think that that was the way we needed to win that game. So I'm going to get to sideboarding and take a couple of minutes to look at all of chat that I have unfortunately just been completely ignoring while I was playing uh, relatively well. Um, in snagging endurance off the once a time, once upon a time, Mystic Snake. No, thankfully, uh, endurance doesn't stop a, an echo of eons with appropriate sequencing. Uh, they never have priority to cast an endurance and stop the echo. Um, because Lion's Eye Diamond is a mana ability, not an activated ability, you can't like respond to it, um, if that makes sense. So, yeah, um, I could have pondered into Beseech, uh, just didn't have a bargainable permanent rude, I think. Um, it might have had play, you know. Um, ponder, crack, LED. But I don't think that I had a bargainable permanent um, to, to, to win. Um, I could be wrong, uh, but I think Jared was right with no bargainable permanent. Uh, Joe, you missed the days where you broke out my backpack and dug through your binder. Yeah, I mean, those were the good old days where you can just like, yeah, I own this card. It's a big Eldrazi and it's turn 20 and I have 90% of my lands and I can just do it. Um, certainly a fun one. Uh, chat is popping off tonight. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys. This is fun. I'm, I'm really having a blast. I hope you guys are too. I think we're performing well as well. Okay, double Thoughtseize is actually really good. I think that I'm going to bottom the Chrome Mox and, um, yeah, Travis, the deck doesn't autopilot. I mean, we did just 
lose our one loss was to an autopiloting deck uh, with the the Mississippi River kind of esque thing, uh, but I think that that was a really cool deck too. Um, <clears throat> you would keep the Mox Rude. I don't know. Like it's such card negative. T like, ooh, that's pretty good. Uh. Okay, so I can just thought seize and then echo right now. I think I'm gonna do that. How how about that? How about we just echo again? Um, just make sure that they don't have. Okay, cool. They didn't. They had. Ooh, Legolas is quick reflexes. That's good to know. Why do they have green carpet of flowers? We have three islands in our entire deck. That doesn't seem like a great plan, but I mean, it's not bad, I guess. Um, okay, so Green Sun Zenith can only gr get a green card. So I think, honestly, actually, hold up. Is it reasonable to go for goblins here? Um, Uh, I mean, 12 goblins is not the worst thing in the world, and uh, hand is two green sun zeniths and a carpet of flowers, and I realized that I was just taking the Legolas's, Legolas's quick reflexes on reflex, thinking that I was going to echo, and I don't think, I don't know, maybe I should echo, maybe I should just echo, I should just stop, um, thinking about this. Uh, OP is several draw steps away from active Fiend Artisan might get there. Yeah, you know, this is actually pretty okay. I think that I'm gonna empty. This is gonna be goblins. I'm gonna hold control and I'm one mana away from thought seizing them uh, for an additional uh, pair of goblins, which is fine. Find a middling, but 12 might just get there. Um, yeah, the Fiend Artisan is okay, but I don't think that the Fiend Artisan is going to race. Um, if the Fiend Artisan and the Noble Hi or the Fiend Artisan is not going to block, the Noble Hierarch would be tapped. Therefore, uh, yeah, okay. Sweet, that was really, really cool. Um, no, I don't think that if it had play, if they had Plague Engineer, it would actually work, um, because they, I don't know, it doesn't matter, it, I guess it doesn't matter, but let's think about this, uh, Green Sun Zenith for, uh, oh, they didn't have a land, oh, they, they didn't have a land, okay, but even if they did, um, uh, they play a land, they Green Sun Zenith for Fiend Artisan, um, the Noble Hierarch is tapped. Their Fiend Artisan is a 1-1. One, one. Uh, yeah, I guess they wouldn't have mana for it. I, either way, uh, that is a concession that like they might have actually been able to get a Plague Engineer. And I had made decisions earlier in the match to play around Plague Engineer. And I just obviously didn't then, but I don't know if that was a, a punt. Um, I'm not gonna run the numbers. We we won, it's, I mean, winning and, and reviewing your games is one thing and then agonizing over your choices is another. So we're just gonna go for it. Uh, we are three and one, absolutely. So we're doing pretty okay. We're playing for a four one. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, wouldn't have enough mana, that's what I meant with several draw steps, they need a lot here. Yeah, Goffman, I, I think that you might be right. Rude is, is uh, bringing up a good point where like Plague Engineer is a concern. Uh, I just, I don't know if it was gonna be enough of a concern. Obviously we played the Empty the Warrens and they conceded, so I don't know. But let me tell you, uh, let's actually run another ad really quick because Moxfield, oh, never mind. We are playing our fifth and final round against Bales76 and we won the die roll. And we're gonna see, yikes. Um, this is not the worst. 
I get that Gaia's Will is in my hand. Um, I have Song of Creation as an, an, an additional out uh, as far as Beseech targets. And I have like a particularly disruptive hand. I think I'm going to keep this. Like Song of Creation is pretty okay. We have a bargainable permanent. Um, I'm going to keep this and I'm going to just Thought Seize them on turn one. Um, natural top deck, Fiend Artisan would be annoying, yes, but I don't think that playing to that specific out would have been a problem, or uh, that I would need to consider for the game, but I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, that murderous cut is never getting cast. I think that I'm going to take the Force of Negation. Um, I get that I have, like, protection, but I don't want them drawing another Force. And the Sauron's Ransom would be... The Sauron's Ransom or the Brainstorm would be another option. I don't think I take the up the Beanstalk with them not having green mana at all. Okay, Island Brainstorm right now! Right now! Uh, the things that you do when Orcish Bowmasters is in the format. Wow. I feel like this is a little aggressive. I would imagine that this is playing around Orcish Bowmasters, but I think that you can just like hold on to your brainstorm, my guys. It's fine. Speaking of holding on to your brainstorms, that's what I'm doing because, poof, got nothing to do. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Suspend a guy as well. Now, I realize that that might be for the meme, and we're going to tick that down, and it's going to like never come off suspend, and I'm going to draw a Chrome Mox and really want... Oh, they drew a green source, of course. Uh, really want uh, an imprintable, but I think it's going to be fine. Okay. That's good. And... Uh, We're going to wait one more turn because I don't actually have a card to cast after this um, song resolves. So I can brainstorm at the end of turn trying to draw a zero or actually what I would really want is, um, yeah, draw blue source and brainstorm. That would be, that would, that's exactly what I want. So I did that. Now I just need to brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. Uh, so yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Bow Boy is a new one. I haven't heard that one. Um, it's like the Pillsbury Doughboy, but it's the Pillsbury Bow Boy. And now I'm going to have to play a deck with Orcish Bowmasters in it so that I can call it Bow Boy um, or like make a Po' Boy reference. I don't know. Good sandwiches. Uh, Pillsbury, good dough boy. I don't know. I don't know. We're we're not making sense. But Bow Boy has me a little tickled. Okay, there is exactly what I want. Um The potential problem here is that they can Sauron's ransom and uh find a force so actually I'm just gonna I'm gonna play it a little slower than normal I think that that's just that's the goal here okay um, this doesn't do what I want it to do does it uh, I think I'm gonna shuffle this that is really good and allows me to do everything that I want right now. That was almost a perfect draw. Um, yeah, it turns out, uh, Rude, instead of a land, let's have a land that uh, turns on my Mox Opal. That's really, that's the best thing I want. And now I think that this is just a straight up uh, uh, Gaia's Will win, so.
There's the Sauron's Ransom. Choose an opponent. I'm not going to veil that. Uh, they get... Um, let's give them... Oh, you know what is really funny? I can give them three cards that are not Force of Will and make them think that this is a Force of Will, and they're going to take the Underground Sea. Watch. Yeah! <laughs> Enjoy your stupid Underground Sea opponent. Oh, that's super fun. Okay, I'm going to hold control as I... <gasps> Wait, where's my guy as well? It's on suspend. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, Song of Creation, because uh, I forgot about the suspend part. I'm a dummy. Uh, I can just, oh yeah, they're at, I'm at seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Never mind. Thank you, Root. I'm. I just got so flustered. Um, yikes! That was just chaining. Just chain them. Just chain them. It's all good. My lord. Um, yeah, that was. That was concerningly bad that I just like missed that. I got so flustered that the gal the, the guy as well was on suspend that I just like didn't see the very obvious line in front of me as soon as I I didn't realize that. Uh, there is no guy as well upstoken for sure. Um, give him all four to flex. That would have been fun, rude, for sure. Uh, but I appreciate the uh, the help. I think that Song of Creation would have been a fun way to win the game, but it was not necessary. So, we got Beseju and Carpets, and I'm going to take out, um, what am I taking out here, actually? I think it's Cabal Rituals and then one of each Mox. Um, I think that that's what the sideboard plan is. We're going to call this Control, and yeah, that is what the sideboard plan is. Uh, Besiege hits Storm 10 so easily, and I just keep forgetting that. Okay, there we go. We are ready to submit. Uh, yeah, Natural Storm for sure. No, no need, Jared, to sit down and pray, although that was not a bad idea either. We're gonna mulligan this one. We're gonna keep this one. Okay, uh, keep this one, bottom the song. I feel like I've put Song of Creation on the bottom of my library more than any other card this league. That's for sure. I feel like I've mulliganed and in like a significant amount of time, but I haven't had to worry about it. Hand's kind of sketchy. Yeah, but we have time for something like this. For an opponent like this, we have time. Island, Ponder, um, oh, those are all pretty good. Um, okay, so we're just looking for land number two afterwards, but even then, just like, I think that we're going to have a little bit of time. Um, Goffman, your Gaia's Will is glued to every opening hand. Yeah, that's uh, apparently Song of Creation is glued to mine, which is not bad. I love hard casting Song of Creation. Um, I just, I just can't. Another end, like an end step brainstorm. I don't know what's going on. Um, they're clearly thinking about something else that I'm not aware of. Like they're on, ta they're tapping two mana for this, so they didn't have time for a brainstorm. Which actually, okay, so that makes sense. Um, the brainstorm timing of the format has just changed dramatically, and it's always just like a little off-putting. Ooh. So you're saying that we're going to just absolutely destroy next turn? Okay. So Lotus Petal, obviously great. And then we're going to be able to have a nice little Dark Ritual Thoughtseize moment um, and figure out what we need. Ooh, they need another land. Okay. And we can double Thoughtseize. 
if uh, the mood, if we don't get veiled, essentially. Um, so, ooh, my cat decides to hop up on my desk. So let's thought seize them here. See what's going on. Paying costs. Veil of summer. Okay. Well, we're gonna just play this whole turn over again. Um, I get that they get to untap with some more mana, but I have a dark ritual on top of my deck and I don't need to push my advantage until uh, I feel pressure and I don't feel that yet. So we're good. Um, previously built a turbo smog deck that comes out casting song was the funniest thing possible. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and yeah, they didn't wasteland me, so I'm okay with all of this. Absolutely. No wasteland, please and thank you, Goffman, as long as they don't... Okay, yeah. As long as they didn't, like, Uro into the wasteland. And they didn't do that, so we're okay. Um, I am going to play out the Lotus Petal here. Um, I don't know if I would Veil a Force of Negation or something like that. Uh, looks like I don't need to worry about it. Um, this is a Force of Negation. Am I going to Veil it? I think so. <clears throat> Yep. Okay. Energy flux. Wow. Tough. Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to do anything here, but they have they have four cards in hand. Um, yeah, we we can't we can't uh, cast the burning wish, but we're under no pressure right now, so I think we're just fine. Um, like getting them to engage in their interaction is more important right now. Um, I get that we're a low land count, but as soon as we have the opportunity to turn the corner, we're turning the corner. And that's exactly what they're doing, too, actually. And there's the wasteland. Mm. Okay. Well, they certainly turned a corner. Um, okay. We have three turns, and we need them to be a uh, red source and an imprintable. So, yeah, it's gonna be tough. And now they're gonna hard cast a Lorien revealed. Oh, oh. Okay. We discard two um, for yeah. I'm I shouldn't have I shouldn't have shown them that. Okay, yeah. Game three. Um. I forgot that it gets counters. Uh, although I think that that would have killed us anyway, even if it didn't. Uh, can spell on himself. Wow. Okay. Yes, themselves. By the way, just so that we're clear, we don't know who our opponent is. Uh. Hmm. This is really interesting. I'm like one mana away from a turn one relay, but I don't think that I'm going to trust Brainstorm to find two mana, uh, land drop and an artifact or something like that. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna mulligan this one. I don't need to be that aggressive. And this, this is, um, I think this is fine. We're gonna keep this one. We're gonna keep this one and we're gonna put a Beseju on the bottom. So, uh, yeah. Play an Underground Sea directly into Wasteland. I know, I know. Wander, Brainstorm. Hey, Brainstorm, okay. I will brainstorm right now. And that was pretty okay. Um, so if I put back Beseju and Brainstorm, 
Uh, I think I'm okay. Yeah. Like the goal is to resolve another brainstorm and find some protection for a Beseech the Mirror or enough artifacts for this Galvanic Relay. I think that that's where, where I'm going. Um, HR put out a memo? No, it's just something that like, I feel like it's an important thing that as a community you need to foster inclusivity. And I mean, I get that 90% of the people that I'm going to be sitting across from are guys, um, but I don't know that for sure. And as long as that kind of barrier is there, it's not as opening and inviting to other people. There's not really an HR memo or anything about it. If you want to, if you want to think about it like that. Um, but it is just a respectable thing. Okay. I did shuffle. I did shuffle. I promise. Um, now I have to make a choice and I'm going to make a choice towards galvanic relay here. Um, which I think is the right choice. And then I will put back Dark Ritual and uh, Ponder. Play the Beseju, play Lotus Petal, uh, Lotus Petal, and then I'm going to... Oop, I need red mana. There we go. All right. Um, Yes, absolutely. Yeah, when we shuffled, we just got like, flipped the deck upside down. That's all that happened. Okay, the ponder that we knew about, the dark ritual that we knew about, the thoughtsies we didn't know about, and the lion's eye diamond we didn't know about. I like all of those cards. Um, yeah, I'm pretty okay with all of that. Wasteland, that's annoying. I have black mana here for now. Um, they think that I'm going to ponder and they're going to get me with a uh, orcish bowmaster, bow boy, as it were. I don't know. Um, hmm. Okay, they're not doing that. They're choosing to draw instead. Okay. Draw step is a dark ritual. I'm pretty okay with that. Um, I think I'm gonna ponder first because they can shut me out by, oh, those, those are good cards. Um, Ooh, okay. Those are all very good cards. I think I'm going to start with the carpet here. Because that is a ritual in and of itself. And if, like, I didn't want the dark ritual to get Thoughtsy or to get Force of Will, because that really just kind of put me in the dirt. Speaking of Force of Will, uh, this carpet, they are forcing. Okay. And I'm going to Dark Ritual before they get to draw. Oh, and it just resolved. Okay. Wow. I feel like they were F6'd there. Um, let's Thought Seize them. Okay. And they have nothing. Uh, I guess I will take Sauron's Ransom. Um, dark ritual here, and then uh, just making sure they don't have anything, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, beseech the mirror, bargain away the lion's eye diamond. We get the Gaia's will. Um, oh, wait, no, 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 just the tendrils of agony. They're at 18, not 20. Got it before I needed to uh, hear about it from chat. So. We're all good to go. 
Yeah, Goffman, I beat you. I beat you, okay? I, I get it. <laughs> Woo! That was a nice... Four one. That felt really good. Um, honestly, uh, yeah, I got you. Uh, I think that's pretty decent. Uh, yeah, Jared Carpet definitely seemed busto, and they forced it for some reason, um, knowing that I could probably just win on on the crackback. So yeah, four one for sure, Faith. So let's actually open these packs and figure out what I got. Let's open all of these, all five of them. And survey says, uh, nothing. Okay, Sling, Sling Gang Commander used to be good before Sling Gang Lieutenant came out, but that's, uh, that's about it. Okay, let me take a picture of this because there's no easy way to like figure out what new cards you got. I don't think there are anyway. I don't think there's a recent additions tab in MTGO, but honestly, this is a classic for a reason. This is the best thing that we've put together in a long time, I think. The addition of Cabal Ritual and Ponder have been way better than I thought, um, but you know what the reason the, of the season is? It's these red cards. It's these red cards. Burning Wish and Galvanic Relay, just absolute powerhouses. Um, we got a little bit of everything. We had, oh, we didn't actually have a Gaia's Will win, actually. We had no Gaia's Will win. Maybe we did and our opponent conceded before that. And Song of Creation is also a red card. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, the play points for sure were the best parts about that. Um, Relay is actually still amazing. Um, I get that, like, it's a little worse with Ponder than it was with um, any of the Bobbles, but honestly, I think that the ability to put a Beseech the Mirror in Exile and be able to use Lion's Eye Diamond as the triple black to get, to get there um, is really important. Obviously, okay, if you hit the guy as well with your Galvanic Relay, that's tough titties, and you've got to figure out a different way to go for it. Uh, probably shouldn't say that on stream. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. But I feel like Galvanic Relay in the fair blue matchups, it's so worth not being able to cast a guy as will at some point, right? It just overperforms in those kinds of matchups, and that's why we are the Delver killer. We always kind of have been since... Um, well, for a long time, but especially since Galvanic Relay was printed, we've we've been the Delver killer. So, um, thank you all. I have enjoyed chatting with you. I have really enjoyed seeing all of you chat so actively today of all days. It's been awesome to see. Um, and, uh, you know, Joe, yeah, uh, let me know. Uh, I think that we're friends on Discord, so you should probably tell me about that. I'll talk to you next week. Make sure that you are up to date 12 hours before the stream for a, a YouTube poll. And we saw something that might be on the poll. So there's three options that I need to pick from now. Uh, since one of them is already full, I will catch you all around and have a good night.